This is Code Academy. I'm currently working on Introduction to JavaScript, and I am on Learn JavaScript Conditionals. I'm on Conditional Statements. I'm on part two of that, the if keyword. So let's check out what we're going to learn here. We often perform a task based on a condition. For example, if the weather is nice today, then we go outside. If the alarm clock rings, then we shut it off. If we're tired, then well, then we'll go to sleep. In programming, we can also perform a task based on a condition using an if statement. And you will do this very frequently in programming. Um, so here's an example. If, and then we have that Boolean value in the parentheses. If true, because remember, Boolean's true and false values. If true, and then in the brackets, console log, which tells the computer, hey, print something out way over here, remember? Console log, this message will print. And guess what? If true, well, that's going to be true. So the message is, is going to print. Because an if statement only functions, it only um, executes the code inside of it if this turns out to be true. So I said if, if I have if 4 equals equals 5, that wouldn't print anything because that's false, obviously. This would print because we set it default to true, so it would always do what it says in here. So notice in the example above, we have an if statement. Ooh, let's hope they explain it not as well <laughs> as me. The if statement is composed of the if keyword followed by a set of parentheses, which is followed by the code block or block statement. That's the code block here in the brackets. Um, indicated by a set of curly brackets. Inside the parentheses, a condition is provided that evaluates to true or false. If the condition evaluates to true, the code inside the curly brackets runs or executes. If the condition evaluates to false, the block won't execute this code. Let's make an if statement. Woohoo! Use the let keyword, declare a variable named to sale, okay, sale, and assign it the value of true. And so we're doing the Boolean value of true. And remember, true is going to need to be lowercase. Oh, and I'm just going to hit run. Nothing's going to happen. It's just going to check that I did it. And I did. Now create an if statement. Provide if statement. Provide the if statement a condition of sale. Inside the code block on the if statement, of the if statement, console.log the string time to buy. So if, and then if you're not sure, if you're not sure, ooh, this is going to get old quick, um, what to do, you can go up and reference this, right? But I have an idea. So if, and then we're going to write sale, oops, and then I need to go outside. I'm just using the arrow key for that. I'm going to do a bracket. And if we're going to cancel log, and then in single quotes for... And then, of course, of course, of course, a semicolon. Now, will this print? What our program does is say, hey, there's an if statement. Is this true? Because if this is true, we're going to run what's ever in here. Well, sale, it is true. So let's go ahead and see how we did here. It should print. And there we are. It did. Notice that the code inside the if statement ran since time to buy was logged to the console. Below the sale variable declaration, but before the if statement, reassigns sale to false. Before the sale, below the sale variable declaration, but before the if statement, reassign sale to false. Okay, to reassign, you do not need to use let again. We can just say sale false because the variable's already been created. It exists now. We can just set it equal to false. Run your code and observe what happens. Okay, well, what's going to happen if... There's a false statement in here. It skips everything. It's not going to execute our code. Ta-da, right? So it didn't print. So just to kind of further prove this point, I'm going to do a copy. I'm going to go up here, enter. I'm going to do paste. So right here, sale equals true, and that should print. And right now, right after this, I set sale equal to false. This is not going to print, OK? So if I hit run right now, it's only going to print that. If I get rid of this where I assign sale false, both things will print because then sales true all the way through. Okay, we'll get more familiar 
to this with this as we keep going. So let's go ahead and do that. 